You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for the Win Show on KZKO. Take part with the cast by sending your suggestions for each segment throughout the week or during the show by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, Twitter at World Improv Net, or the Win KZKO blog. Now, enjoy the show. It's local. It's global. You are listening to Win World Local News. Win World Local News with Potter Smith. Our top story today is brought to us by Win Facebook contributor Jody of Honolulu, Hawaii. For the third time this year, President Obama, while golfing in Hawaii, has disrupted a previously scheduled wedding. With no regard for citizens' marital vows, many Americans are wondering what are the true motivations behind Mr. Obama's desire to break Cupid's arrow. To crash the story of presidential wedding sabotage, let's go live to win senior current affairs reporter TMZ Hilton, who is on Air Force One over the Pacific Ocean. TMZ? Uh, yes, thanks, Potter. I'm here on Air Force One, and wow, it is fancy. Now, I got some time with the president, and I'm getting a little bit more right now. President Obama, right here. It's wonderful to meet you. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. And I'd be glad to answer any questions you have. Excellent. So you played golf and disrupted another wedding. People are beginning to talk that maybe you have some ulterior motives. Well... It is true. I do have ulterior motives. I have a lot of motives for golfing in my Honolulu. And the particular golf course that I was at uh, is a popular wedding destination. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's also a popular golfing destination, seeing as how it's a golf course, first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Now, when I was talking to uh, Becky Steinbach, who was... Wedding, I uh, mm-hmm. yes, and said to her, poor Miss Miss Steinbach. Uh, she was quite upset, and I Some made her an call offer. her distraught, and that's quite fair. Uh, but I told her I'd make it up to her, and if she wanted, she could have another wedding. Uh, at have the White House. Have you ever been a woman getting married, Mr. President? No. I, can't say I have. Oh. Well, then you don't know what it's like to have one day set aside all for you and then have someone else come and just upstage you. The one day that's supposed to mean more to you than any other that you've spent six months of your life picking out a dress from Vera Wang with just the right decoupage along the bodice so that your it's going to match your skin tone and then somebody else shows up and sky writes in the air or takes over the golf course, whatever the case may no, be. No, it's true. We had some sky riding going on. Uh, just wanted the entire <laughs> island to know that I was there. And uh, the sky and to rider forget was... forget about Ms. Becky Steinbeck and her beautiful day. Uh, Steinbach? Steinbach, excuse me. You're I, a cat. I had a great game. Oh, what did you... What, did, what was your score? 65. That's very impressive. Well, Potter, the president is kind of an ass, but he is good at golf. So back to you. Pretty sure Secret Service could tackle you for that. Well, thank you, TMZ. Wow, I hope you're having a great flight, though, across the Pacific there. Let's shift our attention to a story provided to us by Win Facebook contributor Stephen of Hong Kong, China. As the Chinese central government continues to crack down and censor major, major media outlets, it seems that there are no more walking dead will be found in the Shanghai streets or houses made of cards in Beijing. To break this story bad, let's go live to win investigative reporter Inspector Gadget, who is live in Shanghai with the details. Inspector Gadget? Yeah, here I am. I'm in uh, Shanghai. I'm having a lot of fun. I've been bouncing around and... uh I'm here with Mr. Lu Kong. How's it going, sir? Uh, it has been better. It's been better. You're, yeah. you're, I guess you you really like that House of Cards program, is that right? Oh, I love House of Cards. Um, 
Kevin Spacey is, uh, I, I worship him. Oh, he's terrific. I, yes. Did you see him in American Beauty? I, I did. Um, I was at the premiere of American Beauty, uh, because I just, I, I followed Kevin Spacey around much like some did the Grateful Dead. Oh, wow. So, uh, you've probably seen him on tour doing his, uh, Shakespearean works as well. Oh, absolutely. He is one of the modern masters of the craft. And, you know, I'm just sad that now that I'm stuck over here in Shanghai that I won't get well, to see any more House of Cards. Well, are you stuck? I mean, you just said that you, you followed him around on tour. Why not just, uh, relocate? Oh, I was a younger man then. Now I have uh, responsibilities. Uh, I have like what? What do you do? Well, I I am an, uh, a books manager down at the local Barnes and Noble. You, you manage the books? I do. Um, I keep them all in line. I make sure that they're all getting along. Um, so you, you're just an employee? Yes, I work there. This is a pretty fancy title you're giving yourself, books manager. Well. You know, for someone with as much responsibility as I have at the store, if they're not going to... I mean, it to... seems like it'd be parallel the amount of responsibility you have with any other employee. It's just that you're giving yourself a, a fancier well, I, I, title. I've been working there longer than anyone else. Oh, okay. After my days of following Kevin Spacey ended, um, I was... Why'd in... you stop? I mean, why, why settle down at Barnes & Noble in, in Shanghai? No, I mean, there's Barnes & Nobles all over the world. I fell in love. With a woman here in Shanghai. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. How, did you two meet over, uh, Walking Dead or some, uh, one of these other programs? Uh, yes, actually. Um, we met over, uh, the premiere of, uh, Spaceman, the Kevin Spacey movie. Excuse me, K-Pax. But... Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I, I believe, uh, the uh, translated title comes out as Spaceman here in Shanghai. But yes, the, yes. the American release, yeah, I, it was K-Pax. Yes. No, I don't think that was one of his better works, to be honest. It was interesting, for sure, but... but yes. So you, that two really brought... That one brought you, brought you together, huh? Oh, uh, We were both uh, big Kevin Spacey fans who were let down. So I bet she's pretty upset, too. Why not? Uh, I bet she, she, are, you, are you getting pressure from her to maybe uh, you know, relocate? Uh, uh, you know, she has, she's mentioned it, but I, I love Shanghai. I love being the books manager. And let's be honest, you're the man. I am. And men rule in China. You know, I'm not going to say that my base fundamental foundation of misogyny doesn't play into my decision to stay here. Um, but I like to make sure my woman knows her place. Well, there you go, Potter. Uh, nothing much is changing around here in Shanghai despite the, uh, uh, change in uh, media outlets and access and whatnot. So uh, back to you. Well, thank you for that story, Inspector Gadget. Uh, we're moving on to another one now, brought to us by Wind Twitter correspondent Virgil of St. Louis, Missouri. Michael Sam, the first openly gay player in the NFL to come out, recently revealed to Miss Oprah Winfrey that other players wish they had his courage too. To dive deeper into the tail end of the story, let's go live to win relationship counselor, Dr. Snuggles, who's at a Zen counseling meeting in Berkeley, California. Dr. Snuggles! Thank you, Potter. I'm here in the Shamba room at the Peace and Wellness Center. Here we're about 30 miles north of Sacramento. And, uh, Excuse me if you could please give it down. I I am sorry, brother. Um, now, I am here with Brother Toaz. If you can even keep it down a little more. Okay. Thank I am you. here with Brother Toaz, who has been in the Peace Center, Peace and Wellness Center. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you speak up? Well, I just can't hear you. I, I, I thought I was supposed to keep it down. Right oh now. Um, well, I 
was feeling very peaceful. But uh, then there was this outburst. I don't, did you hear that? Did you hear that outburst? Oh, wait. Oh, I think that was you, actually. I know it's you. Isn't your name Dr. Snuggles? Yes. You're not very snuggly. I, I understand that right now. Um, I'm here because I need help. Brother Toaz. And as someone who's been here for 18 months, surely you've found specific techniques to most keep you even. Are you listening? Are you listening to the bowl? Uh, y- yes. That's the bowl of solitude. Oh. Well, I, I feel you can buy one in the gift shop for $20. And I would say that is instrumental in finding peace and a level-headedness that is necessary for happiness. Wow. Oh, thank you. Can I say that I'm so attracted to you right now? What? <laughs> I didn't come here looking for any kind of relationship. But look what you found. Look at what you found. To the sounds of the bowl of solitude, I found companionship. It's ironic, isn't it? It's like that. The, uh, the universe works in very strange ways. It's like that Alanis Morissette song. Listening to the bowl of solitude and companionship, isn't it ironic? Like rain on your wedding day. Yay. Yay. Um, oh, um, thank you. Thank you, Potter. Um, I won't be coming back. But back to you. Wow. It sounds like Dr. Snuggles might have found a new love. Well, okay. Well, let's go right over to the World Sports Desk and fired up Frank, who's at the interview movie online viewing Smackdown. What's going on over there, fired up? Well, I got a bunch of sweaty, pasty kids sitting here watching movies on their computer. It's really, you know, it's kind of gross. There's a weird funk in the air. We've been here. We're on day four. Two of them haven't gotten up and may, in fact, be suffering from some kind of sepsis due to the backup of their bowels. But it's really gross. We have one of our contestants is going through all seven James Bond films where he is played by Sean Connery, just right in a row on repeat. It's incredible. He's mouthing the words along. But I don't know how long this is going to take, Potter. It's, it's crazy out here. Well, thank you, Fired Up. Wow, that sounds like a very interesting event. Maybe one noteworthy for next year as well. Well, let's go over to the World Weather Desk in Tulip Sunspring, who's in Indonesia searching for the Asia Airlines Flight QZ8501. What are you doing over there, Tulip? You know, I think, I think this, I think these planes are just built really bad, or maybe there's aliens. I don't know. This is so bizarre that this is, I mean, once, right, is an accident. Twice is a coincidence, and three times is a pattern. So I'm just kind of waiting for the third plane to fall out of a sky right now. Because, I mean, honestly, this is ridiculous. Like, you know, I've been searching for inner peace and trying to, like, figure out what unifies all of humanity. But, gosh, these engineers need to get their stuff together. Well, thank you, Tulip. I hope your search goes great and that inner peace is found as well. Thank you all for listening to Wind World Local News. I'm Potter Smits. Stay tuned for Community Court next on the World Improv Network. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or the KZKO Wind Blog during the commercial break of a case that needs to be heard during Community Court next on KZKO. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO.